y'all, it's Tammy and Chris with Collard Valley Cooks. And today we're gonna use a big can of yams and make a delicious cobbler with it. Mmm, mm, good. It's Tammy. Guess what I saw on sale this week at the grocery store? Yams. A big can of yams, and they were marked to like 70 something cents. And they're not out of date. They don't go out of the date till the 22nd. So we're gonna have a yam cobbler. So we're gonna start out with a cup, a cup, a cup, like mama always did. And usually when I make a peach cobbler, I use three quarter cup, three quarter cup, three quarter cup, but because this is a very large can of yams, I'm gonna go ahead and use the cup, a cup, a cup. So we're going to start with a cup of flour, and I use self-rising, so it'll, you gotta use self-rising so it'll puff up and be pretty. We're gonna use a cup of sugar, So this cobbler's gonna have a lot of sugar in it. And we're going to use a cup of milk. Boy, that looks good, don't it? All that butter. Now we're gonna use a cup of milk. So it's a cup, a cup, a cup, and a stick of butter. One, 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 one. No, it's one, 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 and one. Now if you can't make a cobbler with that, I don't know about you. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stick of butter and I'm going to melt it in my casserole dish. This is what we're going to cook this in. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the microwave and melt the butter and come right back. This is my spice rack that I love so much. If you don't have it, there's everything on here you'll use. I'm going to grab the cinnamon. And I'm not gonna use any nutmeg, unless Daddy wants me to. Do you want me to? It don't matter to me, whichever you want. Do you want it, put it in there. We'll just do cinnamon today. Okay. All right. So I have you some cinnamon ready. Now we're going to dump this in there. Uh, potatoes, juice, I don't know if I want to use all this juice, so I'm going to scoop them out to begin with. Plus, I'm going to cut it in smaller pieces because they're really big. And this one's just going to fall to pieces, so I can just lay it down in here. Just kind of break them apart like I just did. And the smaller ones you don't have to worry about. Can you see down in there good, Daddy? Now, this was the best 70 something cents I've spent in a long time. That one's got a bad place on it. I'm gonna take it out. It wouldn't hurt us, but We'll do it for the sake of making sure it's all real pretty. That one's got a dark place on it too. These are Bruce's candied yams. Go ahead and finish it off. We'll just have a good cobbler with a lot of good stuff in it, won't we? Go ahead and do the whole thing. Get you one of these big cans. It is 40 ounces. Cut sweet potatoes in syrup. It's really sweet potatoes, y'all. Sweet potatoes and yams are different things, but yams are most most of the time a lot of used in uh, other countries, and they're white, and they're used for starch like we use potatoes. 
I'm going to pour the juice in here until I get to about the top of the sweet potatoes. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to add some brown sugar because that really wasn't sweet enough for my taste. So add you about at least a half cup of brown sugar to them. Just sprinkly good. How's that? Now we're going to put cinnamon. And if you don't like cinnamon, you can omit it. And now we're going to put this liquid on top. We're going to get this in the oven at 350 degrees until it's nice, brown, and bubbly. It takes a good 30 to 40 minutes to get nice. Done and it's nice and toasty. We kept it in there for 40 minutes. Mm. Looks yummy. It's plum delicious, don't it? Mm, mm, good. I must confess, I have never made a sweet potato pie, a sweet potato cobbler, or a sweet potato casserole with canned sweet potatoes. Today is a first for me, but they were on sale and they just were calling my name. So I'm about to see was it worth the 70 something cents? What I do like about this brand of sweet potato is they're not all dark looking. That's one of my pet peeves about the canned potatoes is lots of times they're real dark brownish looking. There's a pretty and orange. So I do like that about them already. That's how they should look. And they're hot. Now when you make a crust like this, and you use the liquid, it makes a gooey um, filling and a crunchy top. So it's like the best of both worlds. You got the crunchy biscuit type top and the gooey ooey as well. All right, let's take a bite. Mm, this would be my supper. I don't want anything else. This is so delicious and so easy. You've got to give it a try. Go get a can of yams out of the pantry. Mmm. Mmm. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.